a child. Through dangers untold and hardships unnumbered, I have fought my way here to the castle beyond the goblin city to take back the child that you have stolen. For my will is as strong as yours, and my kingdom is as great. For my will is as strong as yours, my kingdom is great. Damn. Oh, I can never remember that line. You have no power over me. Oh, Merlin. Oh, no, Merlin. I don't believe it. It's seven o'clock. Come on. Come on. Life can be easy It's not always well Don't tell me truth hurts, little girl Cause it hurts like hell Hurts like hell Hurts like hell Well, don't stand there in the rain. Come on. All right. Come on, Marlon. Come on. Not the dog. But it's pouring. Go on into the garage. Oh. Go on, Marlon. Go into the garage. Go. Sarah, you're an hour late. I said I'm sorry. Please let me finish. Your father and I go out very rarely. You go out every single and weekend. And I ask you to babysit only if it won't interfere with your plans. Well, how do you know? You don't know what my plans are. You don't even ask me anymore. Well, I assume you'd tell me if you had a date. I'd like it if you had a date. You, you should have dates at your age. Ah, Sarah, you're home. We were worried about I you. I can't do anything right, can I? She treats me like a wicked stepmother in a fairy story no matter what I say. I'll talk to her. Dangers untold and hardships unnumbered. I have fought my way here to the castle beyond the goblin city to take back the child that you have stolen. Sarah, can I talk to you? There's nothing to talk about. You better hurry, you're going to be late. Listen, we fed Toby and put him to bed. We do have to leave now, but we'll be back around midnight. You really wanted to talk to me, didn't you? Practically broke down the door. <sighs> Lancelot! Someone has been in my room again. I hate that. I hate it! I hate you. I hate you! Someone save me! Someone take me away from this awful place! What do you want? You want a story? Huh? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl whose stepmother always made her stay home with the baby. And the baby was a spoiled child, and he wanted everything for himself, and the young girl was practically a slave. But what no one knew was that the king of the goblins had fallen in love with the girl, and he had given her certain powers. So one night, when the baby had been particularly cruel to her, she called on the goblins for help. Listen. Say your right words, the goblins said. And we'll take the baby to the goblin city. 
and you will be free. <sighs> but the girl knew that the king of the goblins would keep the baby in his castle forever and ever and ever and turn it into a goblin. And so the girl suffered in silence until one night when she was tired from a day of housework and she was hurt by the harsh words of her stepmother and she could no longer stand it. Knock it off. Come on. Stop it! Stop it! I'll say the words. No, I mustn't. I mustn't say. I wish. I wish. This is going to say it. Say what? Quiet. You shut up. Listen, she's going to say the words. I can bear it no longer. Goblin King! Not eat. Well, she learned that rubbish. It doesn't even start with I wish. Oh, oh Toby, stop it! Oh, I wish I did know what to say to make the goblins take you away. I wish the goblins would come and take you away right now. That's not hard, is it? I wish. I wish. Did you say it? Yes, <laughs> I wish the goblins would come and take you away. Right now. Toby? Toby, are you all right? Why aren't you crying? Please, if it's all the same. What's said is said. But I didn't mean it. Oh, you didn't. Please, where is he? You know very well where he is. Please bring him back. Please. Sarah, go back to your room. Play with your toys and your costumes. Forget about the baby. I've brought you a gift. What is it? It's a crystal. Nothing more. But if you turn it this way and look into it, it'll show you your dreams. But this is not a gift for an ordinary girl. 
takes care of a screaming baby.